Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. Is that because you've got nothing better to do? Or is it because of my soothing voice? I don't know. But either way, I'm glad that you do join me. All right, so you saw the intro, and basically, um, I also add these quirky little comedy sketches on my videos, and it's just my way of showing you some of the cool things you can actually do within Corel Video Studio without using a big software like After Effects. It's nothing, advan nothing advanced or fancy, but again, you still may want to know how it's done. So drop a footage onto the timeline. It could be anything, still picture or video. It does not matter. And I'm going to grab my very favorite filter, Boris Graffiti, drop it straight on there, and then double click, Customs Filter, Advanced Mode. There you go. All right, so we're in the interface of Boris Graffiti. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this text track. So I'm going to highlight it. You know it's highlighted because you've got a yellow frame around the timeline panel. And then all I need to do is hit the word delete on my keyboard. Hit the word delete? No. Just hit the delete key, right? <sighs> all right, now I'm going to highlight the background so it becomes red. Now, the problem here is I can't really do anything with it because if I go into the controls panel, I have no options. Well, I'm going to show you how you're going to get all those options back. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to hold down my left key or my left mouse button and then I'm going to drag this up. Now you'll see a little black line form and a little square underneath my uh, cursor and I'm going to release my key or my left mouse button. I don't know why I'm saying key. <laughs> I tried to make this video three or four times and I kept saying key and I don't know why. All right. And anyway, let's keep moving. Now that we have all the controls over here, that also means I have the option of changing the way this track looks by this icon here because it says change track shape. Left click and at the bottom you'll see page turn. So you can already immediately see the effect. So that's uh, pretty cool. And that also then gives me a new uh, tab over here called page turn. So let's open that. And here, very basic controls, the direction. So if I just start up moving this direction, you can really see how this is going to work. Okay, as you can see, it's very, very simple. And then it's just a matter of changing the way this looks to the effect that you want. You may not necessarily want to do the effect that I did. You may just want to have this flapping around the wind for some reason. It's like a flag on a flagpole. But let's create what I did, okay? So... As you know, with Boris Graffiti, you need to give these commands an interpolation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the very last keyframe. And then I'm going to change the way this looks. So how will it look at the end? So obviously, I want this to be completely off the canvas, right? So left click onto my interpolation. And I'm going to use the word accelerate. And I'm going to do the offset, accelerate, and direction, accelerate. So in other words as it's going towards the end or the last keyframe, it's picking up momentum. And now it's just a matter of just somehow getting rid of this. And that's done quite easy. And that's just using the offset. And as I move the offset, you'll see that it just disappears in one corner. And if I don't like that corner, I might change it up to this corner by using the directional settings. And that should work fine. And then it's just a matter of having a quick preview on how that looked. I think I made I think I've added a rotation in here and I don't want that. So let's if I want to just change that quickly, I highlight it, you'll see it turns blue and white, enter the value zero, and then I don't have the rotation. So let's have a look. There you go. So that's basically the effect that I want. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the first keyframe because most likely for the first keyframe, you want this to look like it's just a flat canvas. And again, I'm gonna highlight it in here, offset, value zero, and enter it. So now I'm gonna have that beginning look where it's just, you're looking like, it's looking like I'm actually working with it. And then as it moves along the timeline, the effect will happen, okay? Now, to manipulate this while it's moving, it's just a matter of adding in keyframes along the timeline because you already know what the effect look like towards the end. So let's have a look what it looks like as we're moving it. So it's not really doing much there. So let's add a uh, keyframe in there. Keyframe. Jesus. Uh, let's add a keyframe in there and then change the direction of the way this looks and increase the offset slightly so it starts to create the effect and then move it along a bit more. Add another keyframe. Change the direction maybe slightly increase the offset, increase the radius. 
Now, the funny thing is, to increase the radius, I go down in numbers. Hmm, not sure why. And then just, this is all I did. I just kept moving it along, adding keyframes, just adding little different effects. And, and as you can see, you'll get the, uh, the general idea. So let's just apply that quickly, and let's have a look at how that looks. There you go. So it looks a little bit unnatural, so you'll need to go in there and then, you know, either smooth it out a bit more with the keyframes and just adjust it accordingly. But again, I'm just showing you how this is done. And then all I really did it towards the end, just to give a little bit more realism, I added the water effect into it. So let's go into the filters. I'm going to go right down to the bottom, and I think I have here water flow. Added that, double click, customs filter. And I gave it, a, I think, a flow of like three or five, I think it was. Let's just stay with five. And I can do either way, right-click on this keyframe, copy and paste the all right, or manually go to here and then also change that to maybe a larger number. It's up to you. And then press OK. And then let's have a look at that. Ooh, what happened there? <laughs> OK. All right, so obviously I need to go in to Boris Graffiti and tidy that up because it looks kind of <laughs> retarded now. Or I could also just extend the uh, the still image. If it was a video clip, I'd have a, a little bit more of a problem. Okay, and it's looking a little bit better. All right, there you go. Now, um, if you do have an issue, and which I had in the beginning, let's just extend a little bit further. Uh, in the beginning, I had this one slight problem with one of the effects that I was doing here. As it was going towards the end, it just kept getting this residual part. It just wouldn't move, and then I realized what I was doing wrong, but I found a really easy fix, and I'll show you what I did. Double-click, Customs Filter. Why am I on this one? Because I didn't highlight Boris Graffiti. Look at that. How embarrassing. Um, what you can do is just shorten the timeline here slightly. So the background clip is still coming from your Corel Video Studio, but the effect is just shortened. So the effect will finish before your video does. And I'm just showing you that just in case you have the same problem that I had when I was trying to do this and I couldn't figure out why I always had this little bit at the end. But that was the easiest fix that, uh, there you go. That was the easiest fix rather than constantly changing the keyframes and really getting it perfect. So there you go, my friends. That's how I did the leaf blower effect. And next one, I'll show you how I did the vacuum effect. But as always, thanks for watching. Hi, guys. Yep, it's Grips. Now, before I log off on this tutorial, I personally want to thank everybody who's been watching me for the last two or three years and who have subscribed to my... And, and, and for those who have... So there you go, the pen is mightier than the sword.